guys back to FR Ranch in our new shop. Uh, I made a video last year about the chainsaw, the Ego 56 uh, chainsaw, but I did also add the mower, but I didn't make any review about it. I went into the in an issue with the mower, the Ego. I was uh, mowing my yard and I was like. And uh, it all started up and I uh, didn't have any reaction uh, on the, the bump. I noticed that uh, it was a common uh, common issues on an Ego mower. So the, the stuff was, uh, it was warranty. But um, I decided that I wanted to troubleshoot myself. At, uh, it's an easy, uh, simple circuit. It's, uh, the problem is most likely to come from this, the security uh, safety switch. Uh, yeah, you get one one safety switch here, another one there that I dismantle, and another one here that I have bypassed the safety switch for the tests. So all the switches tested all good, but then you have this switches that up here. You don't need that. Anyways, so we're gonna continue. The problem was coming from this wiring harness. So. I'm gonna show you guys and uh, how to troubleshoot uh, this wiring harness and how to know with the proper tools how to check out this circuit. But first thing first, you need a multimeter. You have a test lead and you take you take the test lead to the appropriate color, you know, sort of blue here, with one hand of this, you go. And you scale up the resistance, and then the the beep uh, naturally naturally indicates a, a good circuit. And you take the other, you take the other pin of the multimeter, the negative terminal, and you go on a corresponding color, which in this case was we'll go with the the fail uh, the good circuit. We we'll go with the blue, and it will make a beep sound to confirm that it's a good circuit. Then we'll have a, a reading of resistance out of uh, 0 0.1, which in this case uh, is very good. We normally expect under 1 ohms of resistance on a circuit like this. And now we're gonna test the, the red, the red wire circuit, the one in the middle, overload. Overload means uh -uh, bad circuit. We'll check out the last wire, the black wire. And the black wire indicate 0 0.1, which is in this case, is really good. So, what we now know is, we confirm that our problem is in this little fucking wire. So you just, you just repair it and boom! Okay, I decided that I'm gonna bypass this shit. Look at that. Well, first, the switch you have here, the unpush position of the switch, is, it's the NC port. So when we trigger, which is in when you have this here locked, uh, <clears throat> it, it means the circuit will, uh, will switch to the NO circuit. So you just have to bypass the blue wire with the black wire in theory at this connector for this to work. So we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, shortcut the switches and try that. And there you go. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's pretty short. It's really quick. It doesn't. Uh, it's not really complete. Uh, there's many ways to uh, look on the uh, electrical circuit. Uh, we, you can do what we call a load test. Uh, you can use this to know more actively if the circuit is bad because sometimes you can have a good circuit reading under one ohms of resistance, but sometimes you can have a bad circuit that can also read under one ohms of resistance. So this is why in some case when the, the circuit is not open you'll you'll need to make a load test on a circuit. In this case it's really easy you know you can take one 
wire you can follow it uh, with your hands but uh, your trouble with shooting on a car sometimes it's, it's a lot harder than that because um, you need to to make some jump wires to get from one connectors to another connectors this is re a really uh, easy project uh, for new beginners and, and also it's common failure on those uh, lawnmower I mean uh, uh, there's countless amount of video about this uh, fixing thing up and um, there's one way I didn't like about fixing or bypassing the, the safety switch is by forcing a pin into the female pin uh, on the other side of the connector instead of just twisting the two cables together and isolating them the, properly um, because when you force uh, for example a, a paper clip into there with the vibration and all that sometimes uh, the pin fits because you you will enlarge the hole eh? no side jokes uh, but uh, yeah so there's a big chance that with your paper clips forced into the the, the female terminal that the, the pin fit will get loose and, the brrr, brrr, and the brrr, eventually uh, your fix will will, will fail my, it's my opinion this is why I I don't recommend that uh, that fix it's a better idea whether to repair the circuit if you want to keep the switch uh, but in my case uh, I just decided to uh, just bypass it so. And I do apologize uh, for the uh, bad uh, recording and then the poor video. Um, uh, I, I didn't speak about uh, how to test the switch if you want to uh, test, test those. Uh, it's pretty much the same when there's two uh, contact on the switch. It's pretty uh, pretty easy. You got, you got your, your multimeter, you go to the resistance, you apply from one terminal of the switch on the positive and on the other terminal of the switch with the negative and then when you trigger the switch you will see when the, the switch is open you will see overload because the circuit is open but when you close the switch you're supposed to see the resistance into the switch but it, the resistance itself is it's very according there's different switch, there's different resistance. So normally in a good those kind of switch you'll see again under under one ohms of a resistance. So I didn't show it in a video, but it's really easy just to click it, check it, you see the resistance, well, okay, you see the circuit, but uh, also you can bypass it if you don't have a, a multimeter to uh, check out the resistance. And why? And why there's so many fail, uh, reported fail failure of this wiring harness in that position? But I, I kind of analyze the situation. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the routing, the routing of the wiring harness is the main issue here because when get out of the of the center, when the wiring harness get out of the center of the uh, the mower, it follows a uh, the the bar on the side. There's a there's a plastic cap on that portion uh, and I noticed that in in this section the way the cables route around the, the plastic edge kind of pinch uh, there's a couple place where the cables are pinch in between the the mower and all the switches on the side of the handle so yeah I'm pretty much uh, pretty much sure it's uh, the problem here is say a wiring harness routing problem uh, hopefully the engineer will ha have uh, this uh, sorted out on the next generation which is now released oh and I forgot to mention the, there's other ways to, if you if you want to keep the switch you can just cut uh, the wire and tape the switch in a close position and you uh, f of course you isolate the circuit you repair the, you repair the circuit but you shorten the switch so the, sh the switch is always closed and it always under the uh, the cover so uh, if you isolate it properly you know you put a generous amount of tape and you secure it properly uh, you will have no more problem with uh, the switch anymore but of course 
you can you can bypass it by either connector you can tape the switch there's many ways you can uh, fix this problem easy uh, without additional uh, parts but of course you can always call a new RNS at ego or make it fix at the warranty but because it seems to be an engineering problem or a, a problem on the routing of the wiring harness if you put it back together exactly the same way it was uh, the problem will come back because there, there's a there's a routing issues of course because there's so many cases of that problem reported on uh, on the forum and uh, on YouTube so if you see it fails so many often don't don't repair it the way it was before I'm gonna explain you the trust me I'm a technician uh, why 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 did I roll that because uh, we solve problem uh, from engineering so uh, this is why uh, I replaced there's so many people they they put trust me I'm an engineer but they sometimes when we when we work on car and uh, we're <laughs> we're we're looking at how the cars are made are uh, we curse about the engineers so this is why uh, yeah that trust me I'm a technician because we solve engineer problems so so I'm getting off the subject in the final words I want to say don't don't put it back the same way it was okay you gotta correct the the, the wiring routing the wires are too tight in the position they made in so hope you guys enjoy uh, if you have any question about troubleshooting uh, your mower or whatever just go in the uh, comment section below it will be a pleasure to respond then but until next time keep on stretching